Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matuto kasama si Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Matatag Curriculum, Mathematics, Grade 4, Quarter 3, Lesson 7. Our topic for today is about subtraction of dissimilar fractions. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Let's start! Learning competencies and objectives. Number one, subtract the similar fractions. 1.1, two proper fractions. 1.2, two mixed numbers. 1.3, a mixed number and the proper fraction. 1.4, a whole number and the proper fraction, and 1.5, a whole number and a mixed number. Day 1 Let us have first a short review. Activity number 1, Drill. Instructions, Similar Fraction Facts. Using flashcards, let learners recall how to subtract similar fractions. Two proper fractions, two mixed numbers, a mixed number and a proper fraction, a whole number and a proper fraction, and a whole number and a mixed number. Answer this in your notebook. Lesson purpose, activity number 3. Let learners recall how to compare dissimilar fractions. Instructions, let learners arrange the following dissimilar fractions in descending order. After arranging, let them get their differences. Let them illustrate through fraction strips or bars. How were they able to get the differences? Answer this in your notebook. Day 2 Lesson Purpose Activity Number 4 Let learners recall how to compare the similar fractions. Instructions let learners arrange the following dissimilar fractions in descending order. After arranging, let them get their differences. Let them illustrate through fraction strips or bars how where they were able to get the differences. Do this in your notebook. Day 3 Subtracting the similar fractions After doing activities 1 and 3, let learners further build on subtracting the similar fractions using the concepts of equivalence, fractions, and similar fractions. Here's the equation mat. Subtract 2 thirds minus 1 fourth. We also have here the strips. The answer is 5 twelfths. I do. How to subtract the similar fractions? Subtract 2 thirds minus 1 fourth. Solution Step 1 Determine LCD of the given fractions. 
The LCD is 12. Step 2. Use the LCD to make the given fractions similar. Step 3. Subtract the similar fractions. The answer is 5 twelfths. We do subtract 2 thirds from 3 fourths. You do subtract 4 fifths minus 3 tenths. Example number 2. Subtract 1 and 3 fourths from 3 and 1 half. I do. Solution. Number sentence, 3 and 1 half minus 1 and 3 fourths. Step 1. Convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. 3 and 1 half is equal to 7 halves. 1 and 3 fourths is equal to 7 fourths. Step 2. Determine LCD of the given fractions. The LCD is 4. Step 3. Use the LCD to make the given fractions similar. Step 4. Subtract the similar fractions. The answer is 7 fourths or 1 and 3 fourths. We do find the difference between 2 and 1 fourths and 1 and 3 fifths. You do subtract 3 1 thirds and 1 and 1 twelfths. Example number 3. Subtract 4 and 2 thirds minus 2 fifths. We do solution. Number sentence, 4 and 2 thirds minus 2 fifths. Step 1, convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. 4 and 2 thirds is equal to 14 thirds. Step 2, determine LCD of the given fractions, which is 15. Step 3, use the LCD to make the given fractions similar. Step number 4, subtract the similar fractions. The answer is 64 over 15 or 4 and 4 fifteenths. Example number 4. What is the difference between 2 and 5 sevenths? Solution, number sentence, 2 minus 5 sevenths. Step 1, determine LCD of the given fractions. The answer is 7. Step 2, use the LCD to make the given fractions similar. Step 3, subtract the similar fractions. The answer is 9 sevenths or 1 and 2 sevenths. Example number 5, subtract 2 and 2 thirds from 5. Solution, number sentence, 5 minus 2 and 2 thirds. Step 1, convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. 2 and 2 thirds is equal to 8 thirds. Step 2, determine LCD of the given fractions. The answer is 3. Step 3, use the LCD to make the given fractions similar. Step number 4, subtract the similar fractions. The answer is 7 thirds or 2 and 1 thirds.
Learner's Takeaways Give this activity to test the conceptual and procedural understanding of learners in adding dissimilar fractions. Fill me up. Fill up the following to make the procedures correct. Problem number 1, 7 sixths minus 3 fourths. Problem number 2, 2 and 3 sevenths minus 1 and 3 fifths. And here's the answer for our learners' takeaways. Problem number one, the final answer is 7 sixths minus 3 fourths is equal to 5 twelfths. For problem number two, 2 and 3 sevenths minus 1 and 3 fifths is equal to 29 over 35. Reflection on learning. Let's read and solve this problem. Regine subtracted 2 and 3 tenths from 3 and 4 fifths. She got a difference of 1 and 1 half. Is she correct? Show that Regine's answer is correct. Let's see. Here's the answer. Given, Regine subtracted 2 and 3 tenths from 3 and 4 fifths and got 1 and 1 half. Step 1, you have to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. Step 2, convert 2 and 3 tenths to an improper fraction. Step 2. Find the LCD. The denominators are 5 and 10. The LCD is 10. Convert 19 fifths to have denominator 10. Now we have 38 tenths minus 23 tenths. Day 4 Pair Activity Let learners be more familiar with how to subtract the similar fractions by giving them more practice exercises. Sample Activity Instructions Determine the difference of the following and then reduce the difference in its simplest form if possible. So we have 1 to 5 items. Do this in your notebook. Formative Assessment Activity number 1 Riddle Time Objective Subtract the similar fractions Materials needed Decoder Instructions, find the difference of the following. Determine the letter corresponding to each difference in the decoder. Write your solution in the second column. Here's the riddle that you need to answer. The more I dry, the wetter I get. Who am I? And here's the decoder. 
and here are the problems that you need to solve. Column 1 is the given. Column 2 is the difference. You have to show your solution. And column 3 is the decoded letter. Here's number 1, 5 ninths minus 1 thirds. Number 2, 2 thirds minus 1 fifth. Number 3, 8 and 1 half minus 2 eighths. Number 4, 5 and 1 half minus 4 tenths. Number 5, 4 minus 2 and 3 eighths. Number 6, 4 and 1 sixth minus 2. Formative assessment answer. Number 1, 2 ninths. Number 2, 7 fifteenths. Number 3, 6 and 1 fourths. Number 4, 5 and 1 tenths. Number 5, 1 and 5 eighths. And number 6, 2 and 1 sixths. Let's answer the riddle. The more I dry, the wetter I get. Who am I? Again, the more I dry, the wetter I get. Who am I? What's your answer? Correct! A towel! So here's the rubric. Zero did not attempt to solve the problem. One point with solution but has incorrect procedure still arrived at the correct answer. No solution provided but arrived at the correct answer. Two points provided a complete solution, no incorrect procedures and arrived at the correct answer. Part 3 Riddle part. Zero did not attempt to decode the riddle. One point, able to decode the riddle but the solutions provided were incorrect. Guess some of the items. Number three points, decoded the riddle properly according to the correct solution provided. Good luck, kids! Maraming salamat sa pananood. Huwag kalimutang i-like at mag-subscribe para sa higit pang educational content. I-click ang bell icon para ma-update ka sa ating mga bagong video. Salamat!